Good evening, everyone. This is Dan Hogan, your host for Centel Spotlight. And on tonight's show, we'll be taking you to the Central Park Art Festival in downtown Winter Haven. Right now we're in Central Park in downtown Winter Haven talking to Bob Morrissey, the director of, as the sign says, Central Park Art Festival for 1984. And what kind of event has it been so far? Have you had a good turnout? A very good turnout. We're expecting even this only Saturday. We're expecting a lot more on Sunday, but this real good turnout. And you've been blessed with good weather. Weather, I Weather, see. Weather's gorgeous. Should be even a few degrees warmer tomorrow and no rain. How many exhibitors are there here? It's about 170. And when does the judging actually take place? It's going on right now. It should be completed by around 4 o'clock today. Give me some idea of the different types of art that people can see here. Yeah, we got painting, different types of painting, watercolor, graphics and drawing, uh, photography, ceramics and sculpture, and crafts. And crafts is such an all-encompassing media. I mean, it, um, jewelry, leather, wood, stained glass, it just, it's like a catch-all. Anything that's not in one of the other categories is in crafts. Now, I'm just curious, does the director of the show actually have something on exhibit here today? No. No. Is that not allowed? No, I'd rather not enter something that I'm putting on. No. What type of art are you personally involved with, though? A realistic type painting. How long have you been director of this event? I started it six or uh, five years ago. And does it typically take place in March or just generally sometime in the spring each year? No, the second weekend in March every year. How far away do exhibitors come from? California. I'll grab some from, uh, normally I have some from Canada, New York, Ohio, a lot of the northern states, but out west to Wyoming, Colorado, California. Got yeah, 26 states. If someone wanted to participate in next year's event, how would they go about becoming involved themselves? All they have to do is write to Sunbank, and we'll be glad to send them an application. Now, is there a particular entry fee, or how does that work? There's an entry fee of $50, at least this year, and um, a $5 fee for every category they enter. If they want to get in painting and then graphics or uh, photography, that's three different categories, they'd pay the $50 plus $5 per category for another 15 Can you give me some idea of what entertainment is being held here on the stage? Well, we have Poe Community College uh, stage band. We have Reader's Theater from the, from the college. We have uh, some individual performers. We have a ballet conservatory here. Um, a lot of exciting entertainment, and the people seem to be really enjoying it. Has this event grown each and every year? Yes. I think we're going to have better attendance. More people are becoming aware of it. They're becoming aware of the time of the year it's held and uh, uh, with, with the weather we're having. And we've had this kind of weather every single year. Do you think you'll break the attendance record this year? I hope so. Any idea about how many people you had here last year? We had somewhere around 18,000 last year, and I think we'll do better than that this year. And it's Sunday is normally a much busier day than Saturday. And it's typically a two-day event, Saturday and Sunday, is that correct? Correct. Give me some idea, if you will, about, I notice several snacks available here. How does that work? Does somebody just come here and buy a space to participate in that, or is that club-oriented? Well, a lot of it is club-oriented. Um, we sponsor the drinks ourselves. Uh, uh, the Rotary Club is doing uh, some food, and then we have some outside concessionaires that come in, and they're paying a percentage of, of uh, whatever they take in back to the bank or to the uh, uh, festival or to, to run it, because we're giving away $7,500 in awards tomorrow, and uh, we do rely very heavily on concessions. Who does the judging this year? Uh, Tim Bookout, from, he's an associate professor of art at uh, Georgia State University, is the judge this year. Who was the judge last year? It was a lady, as I recall. Am I right about that? Yeah, she, uh, she was the editor of um, Art Business News, uh, a monthly publication, uh, primarily a trade publication. If I may ask this, has there been sort of any type of new art form on display this year that maybe people would not have seen last year? Well, to tell you the truth, I've only seen about half the show myself. Okay, <laughs> so it's too early to tell, perhaps. Now, anything else unusual about this as to how many man hours involved in putting something together like this? Can you give us some background information about any problem you may have had or any funny things that have happened along the way in getting this event organized this year? Well, we normally start on next year's show about a month after this year's mm -hmm. show, and it takes that long to get it ready because you've got, you've got entertainment, you've got concessions, and everything is outside, so nothing exists. There's no building. You have to furnish the stage. and. Uh, 
uh, tents and just everything. I mean, it's it quite a, an endeavor to put on. And a lot of man hours. Since you have been involved in it, and you said you've been involved from the start, has rain ever been a problem? No, we never had any rain. Well, I, I guess we can congratulate the Winter Haven Chamber of Commerce for giving you good weather each and every year. That's for sure. <laughs> Can you give me a rundown on what Winter Haven artists specifically are involved in exhibiting this year? Uh, by name? Well, either that or just uh, one or two people that might be involved from the community itself. Oh, we have we have a lot, not just from Winter Haven, but uh, surrounding area, Haines City and uh, Lake Wales and Lakeland and Bartow. We've, we've got probably 40 artists just from that area alone. But uh, we get a good cross-section, not just from Florida and then uh, a, a, a smaller percentage, but we cover 26 states with the rest of them. So it's uh, whoever comes down here is going to see a full range. They're going to find something they like. They, they couldn't miss. There's just too much down here. Okay, we've been talking with Bob Morrissey, director of the Central Park Arts Festival. Among the performers on stage at this year's event was the Concert Ballet Theater. And we had the opportunity to speak with the artistic director of this group, Perko Lawler. Today you saw the, uh, just a part of the group performing because many of the dancers could not make it here today, but the six dancers. And we were very lucky to have a couple men dancers, youngest one, our Matthew, five-year-old. And now, of course, you want to know about the group. It is for... Uh, local dancers who are interested in performing more than just the recitals in every year and we do have auditions in the fall again for the next big performance we're going to do the match girl and um, we last we did a big performance last uh, Christmas time and it was very successful and well received and we'd like to do it better and more successful next fall and where does that take place, that particular uh, event? Uh, the, this, uh, we are going to have a performance in Lakeland, in, in, uh, in Bradscombe Auditorium, and then also here in Winter Haven, hopefully in the college. Give us a little bit of background about yourself, how you got involved in having a ballet theater to begin with. Uh, now, right, of course, I have been dancing all my life, and I started dancing in Finland and uh, then came to study here and met my husband and that made me to stay in this country. Mm -hmm. And I have been teaching in Chicago area for 27 years. My That's a long, a long time. And then uh, now uh, two years we have been here in, in this area. And because I'm the owner with my husband, the owner of the uh, ballet conservatory here in Winter Haven. But then, uh, the uh, uh, concert ballet theater is uh, sponsored mainly by two studios, one in Lakeland, Highland School of Dance, uh, and, Dance and of course Jane Cord is a director of the uh, Highland School of Dance and then I am the director of ballet conservatory here. And so this is, we are trying to bring the dance more <laughs> Uh, let's say different type like that's a classical ballet mm -hmm. to be the popular dance form which is something sometimes forgotten but okay. we have to bring it back to the back to the limelight next we asked jane coyle director of highland school of dance in lakeland about her school we've been open for nine years and then i met pierco mm -hmm. when she moved here and we just we got together and we it's just been wonderful she's just been really exciting and the girls that take in Lakeland also come over and take in Winter Haven too so it's a kind of combined effort between the two of us. At this year's Central Park Art Festival in downtown Winter Haven we ask passers-by what is your favorite form of art? My name is Linda Smith, and my favorite form of art is oil painting. My name is Grace Cannon. My favorite art form is watercolor. My name is Marilyn Scarborough, and my favorite form of art is photography. I've seen 
quite a few exhibits here today and some of it's very good. My name is Betty Marquardt and my favorite form of the art are the watercolors. My name is Joe Thwaites from Simcoe, Ontario, known as Joe Blow, and my favorite art is a taxidermist from Kentucky. I'm Mrs. James Lutz from State College, Pennsylvania, and my, my favorite form of art is the stained glass. I'm Jean Dunkelbarger from Center Hall, Pennsylvania. My favorite artwork, I think, is the oil painting. Well, I think my favorite form of art is pottery, and I have really enjoyed that. I'm from Lakeland. My name is Jean Ackerman. Well, my favorite painting is uh, anything to do with nature, like animal scenes, deer, turkeys, wildlife, anything like that. <laughs> and what is your name? I mean feathered turkeys. <laughs> Jim Partain. My name's Renee. I like finger painting. Yeah, David Trueblood. I'm with the Ranch House Motor Inn and spending a great day out here with our rotary uh, from Cypress Gardens hot dog wagon. The greatest hot dogs in town. Is that your favorite form of art? That's our favorite form of art. We've uh, sold over 400 and if you really want to get a good hot dog, you got to come out here and see it. And see the rest of the show goes along with our hot dogs very well. Dave, now I know why you're head of that tourism association. <laughs> I hear that. 